Good morning everyone. Hello from Dushanbe. I am now walking to the Hilton here because it's one of the few places where you can withdraw cash. I need some money there because afterwards I need to register in Tajikistan. Then when I'm registered in Tajikistan, I can go get my visa for Pakistan and that will then help me to go to Pakistan so I can get my visa to go to Afghanistan. Okay, here's an update. I just basically wasted my whole morning because of this. Uh, first of all, the Hilton, not as international, they only uh, accepted visa. So I couldn't withdraw with my MasterCard or with my Amex. Then, when I went to the registration office, my hostel who was kind enough to tell me that I need to register, didn't give me a registration card. So I went for nothing. So I was like, let me just go to the Pakistani embassy. And then the address that Google says the Pakistani embassy is, it doesn't exist. There's nothing here. So I called the Pakistani embassy because the address they had on their website, Google didn't recognize. So basically nothing happened, nothing progressed. And I still need to find a place where I can withdraw money. So I just left the hostel, this time with the invite letter from my hostel. So let's see how round two is going. This is the cash machine that you want to grab if you want to withdraw money with an Amex here in Tajikistan. It's also one of the few ones that accepts MasterCard. The problem, however, is take as much money as you can at once because after you've done it, I don't know, I did it like I think a week, week ago and it says you already withdrew what you could. So now I can't withdraw again. So I have no access to my money. I'm also going to walk back to the registration center right now. Uh, they wanted to keep my passport for 24 hours, but I applied for my visa from Pakistan a week ago. And if I don't deliver the stuff today, then a week will have passed and there's a chance that they may shelve or, you know, kind of cancel the visa. I got the paperwork and this is bus number three that's going to take me to the embassy. Well, there's some reports online that you can get these for a few bucks and that you can get them straight away. Uh, the whole thing in total cost me $25, 26 dollars, 26 euros. And it was gonna take 24 hours, but I kind of begged them and I showed them the time that the embassy from Pakistan was gonna close. That's why they did it in an hour. And I had like an emergency situation. Otherwise it will take you 24 hours. So factor that in. So I'm in the consulate right now. It looks amazing. There's no one here, so I sneaky take a little video but uh, i'm waiting right now to finally have my uh, visa interview and then everything should be good to go so i'm very excited i got so much paperwork uh, i think i have everything what i need and i just i just feel very good like i'm so excited to go to pakistan the interview went really good and less than an hour later i got this notification so i'll see you guys in the next video what pakistan is happening